All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. I'm shaking the phone bracket already. All right, we're going to do another whip and chat with Diamond Art Club, So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler. We're up in this ninth row here, window and part of the draggling's body here. All right, square drill, 22 inches by 43 inches, 56 centimeters by 109 centimeters. 53 colors, including two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, and they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under color code or DMC code 150 is considered an AB from Diamond Art Club. Hopefully, we'll get to the white AB here. AB here. It's all a bit of the a dark blue to do here, so we'll work on that. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day and your crafting and other hobbies are going well. Yeah, we'll just hang out for another giggle. Be fun. It, yeah, listen to YouTube music while the previous whip and chat uploaded. And of course there's... Uh, a couple music artists who, musicians who just, who are female, who decide to pose relatively nude on a front of their, for their cover art. Yeah, we'll just say that. I like sand CD covers. And it's like, why you're a singer. I'm like here to listen to music, not see a striptease. Like, choose a profession. <laughs> I'm just complaining that I, I don't Legend of Zelda or you play as Princess Zelda this time around in a new Nintendo game announcement and people are losing it. That was the previous whip and chat. And then now, yeah, I've noticed it with a couple of female artists. Lizzo, Avril Lavigne, and now Sarah Larson. I'd rather just listen to their music. They're singers. Yes, they're women. Okay. But not on a CD cover. Like, uh, just send it a wrong idea and if that's like on store shelves or something or in iTunes store or something like young people are going through those apps and it's just I'd find it on a CD cover if I were to get her CD like great artist and all that but great musician and all that but Let's just put some clothes on. Like, oh my gosh. You can still look attractive, but just being blatantly naked to sell music or just, yeah, to promote music just doesn't seem right, in my opinion. Like, you should just be respected or appreciated for who you are with clothes on. Why are people taking their clothes off on media to promote their media or music? That just, no. <laughs> I don't know, they're like 50 cent. Yeah, he had his shirt off on the CD cover and die trying or something like years ago. But um, it should just have clothes on, either gender or et cetera. Like, you're a musician, not. This is an OnlyFans or something. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? 
Oh, this artist is practically naked. Oh, let's listen to this. Or buy this CD now. It's like, what? Or buy this music. Digitally. I'm still a CD guy, so that's why I'm saying that. I still get the odd music CD. So, I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. I know it's like personal expression, but freedom of speech kind of thing, but I don't know if freedom of speech applies to media, but I don't know, it's how you portray yourself to other people, so it's kind of a form of speech, only it's visual. You're still conveying a message whatever that is so it's i don't know i don't find it very tasteful for to have a music collection and then just suddenly have a musician who's like nude on the cd cover and that's just like sitting around my bedroom or something and my nephew could come into my bedroom and like see that I don't know how much he'd care, but it's still it's supposed to be a lead somewhat positive example for my nephew. Even if I don't see him like all the time. Just that small impression. I don't know how exposed to anatomy my nephew is. I don't know if he's learning about that in school or female anatomy, male anatomy. Yeah, like biology, but it's probably around the age to start learning about that stuff, but I just want to convey the wrong message to my nephew. Like, you'll he'll have to discover that stuff soon sooner or later but just in that context should be in like a teachable moment kind of context not oh <laughs> why do you have a cd of like <laughs> somebody who's like naked on the cover <laughs> uncle jeff it's like I don't know, but just whoever is singing, it's just keep your clothes on. <laughs> it's just your musicians, like just what the heck. <laughs> just keep that stuff separate. <laughs> say, uh, that's all I can really say. That's just my take on it, but. I don't know, just having that kind of stuff, just sitting around the house. Well, basically my bedroom, but still, whoever's like walking in there could walk in there and see a CD like that. If I like presently listen to a CD which had a cover like that. Yeah, because I listened to a full CD if I'm purchasing a CD and I listen to the whole thing a couple times and then put it away for a giggle and then listen to it again later down the road but I usually keep it by my keep the case by my CD player and play the CD through and yeah I may pause the CD to if I'm done on my exercise bike or something for the day like yeah <laughs> Don't want to like ruin the CD case either by like covering it up or that kind of thing, but that just that kind of material on to promote music just doesn't sit right with me. Probably women that are struggling with body image and all that, that's, that's the kind of media that discourages 
young women sometimes they're seeing somebody that's just looks extravagant in like a magazine or something and then get self con confidence issues and yeah body image you're fine just the way you are like just take that <laughs> You're beautiful in your own way, but just seeing celebrities and stuff just like practically posing naked in magazine spreads or in other media, it's just, I think men or any of the genders would just kind of feel self-conscious seeing like somebody that's like totally ripped with their shirt off, six pack abs and all that somebody who's really fit and then like you have to really work hard for to get a rip six pack and man maintain that physique and it's basically a lifestyle too i don't suggest steroid use to gain muscle i'd say do it naturally if that's something that somebody wants to do. Like, naturally strengthen your body if you want to look fit. It's healthier that way, but yeah, that's just me. I'm no fitness guru here, but yeah. That's like a, yeah, that's like a daily habit you work up to that physique that you're looking for but just because you see something in a magazine or something on a CD cover doesn't mean it's like a hundred percent realistic necessarily celebrity in question yeah could have that physique and have worked could actually be like that but yeah there could be some enhancements or alterations sometimes I don't know if it's constant but I don't know. just take home that yeah love yourself for who you are how you look you don't have to have six-pack abs and be absolutely flawless it inner beauty and respecting other people and just respecting yourself and instead of just wearing like tons of makeup or just trying to be a certain way that's just totally not your character oh just be authentic. Yeah, if you want to better yourself, like stay fit and all that, that's awesome. Yeah, it's worthwhile. It's an attainable goal under uh, reasonable circumstances if you do it safely and at your own pace. Yeah, that's fine. Now, feeling you have to look a certain way just because somebody else does isn't the reason to better yourself. You yourself should uh, come to that reasoning or conclusion if you want to improve something or lose a couple pounds or something yeah just to feel better feel healthier yeah yeah you yourself should be driving those decisions not having somebody else tell you what you should be doing it's basically your body regardless of gender age
Yeah, man, all that <laughs> just from uh, seeing a music CD cover. That was probably the cover on that Zero Larson CD. Oh, well, private parts are conveniently covered, of course. Yeah, it just can't blatantly have full frontal nudity on anywhere, really. Not in Canada or the U.S., I'd imagine. I'm sure there are certain rules for nudity in media. But, yeah. But, yeah, not picking on any celebrity or anything. That just names that I know for sure I've seen nudity on in media, in their media, or on their CD covers. Yeah, it's just... I don't know, if they're like supermodels or something, yeah. Playboy magazine, you know, yeah. Of course, yeah, that's the place for it, sure. Mm. Yeah, models, yeah, they're... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just don't put yourself down just because some celebrity looks a certain way. I'm just saying appreciate yourself for who you are. Don't let some unreasonable standards discourage you of how a human being should look just because they're glamorized in a magazine or something. I'm probably saying the same thing two different ways, but yeah. Just love yourself for who you are. Yeah, I just don't like that celebrity gossip, glam stuff. It, yeah, they're wealthy, they're well off. They've done a few films, just whoever celebrities are, they can get some of the best services, health services, etc. Best doctors and stuff to, if they have issues, medical issues. But in the end, they're still human. But yeah, that pressure may have been given to the celebrities as well to have certain roles have to look a certain way for movies or something but yeah it's just kind of scary how somebody has to treat their bodies or transform their bodies in order to be able to be in a movie or something it's just I don't know there's CGI and that kind of stuff, but yeah, I think a couple actors have like starved themselves and stuff to look really emaciated or something. Eh, it's messy. Yeah. I, I know you're portraying a character and all that. That has gone through some rough patches, but. A tricky issue for sure, but it's still pretty prominent in today's society. And it's just everywhere. Uh, suggestive themes and video games and... Okay, I'll go to this 141 here. Got the tweezers out.
Yeah, hopefully that's not too downer of a topic, but yeah. I'll still listen to the music, but yeah, just kind of scoff at the... The image, the cover image of the song. Like, so that I just decided to do. Okay, so this is the white AB representing uh, stars in the night sky here. So place the yeah. Just every once in a while, mention that those kind of topics. I'm not really like current events kind of guy, but yeah, today apparently. I do talk about video games and stuff, but not a pro by any means in video games or celebrity gossip, so. I don't know, just body image stuff, yeah, it, some people really struggle with that. And, yeah, that's just in front of young children's eyes all the time, no matter what social media platform you're on or just on a billboard or something yeah that just it's almost sensory overload in some places it's media that's targeted towards a certain audience but that it still kind of has to be out in public for everybody to see, for the target audience to see it. Yeah, it's just ever present. I know the perfume commercials just get really weird. The actor from like Dune. I think he plays like the main character. He has like black hair I think. It's a uh, slim built. I uh, don't know his name um, at times so. <laughs> oh he's in a blue Chanel commercial and it's like really long feeling 30 seconds and they show the perfume bottle for like a millisecond right at the end of the commercial. Blue Chanel! And then the next commercial, it's like, what the heck? <laughs> Seen that commercial a couple times and it's just like, oh, he's fully clothed, that's fine, but it's just like, what the heck? Just show the perfume and move on. Blue Chanel! Okay, bye. <laughs> it's like a 10 millisecond commercial. Uh, wear a perfume, I just use Axe body wash and Axe deodorant. Yeah. I bathe regularly and yeah, wear deodorant. <laughs> it's like, my gosh. Yeah, but if you are struggling with body image issues or something's on your mind, yeah, find somebody to talk to. Yeah, don't keep those feelings bottled up. Yeah, if you don't feel like yourself ever, yeah, don't be afraid to tell somebody. Yeah, talk to somebody. Yeah, you shouldn't feel insecure or feel uneasy all the time and let it eat away at you. Yeah, yeah, talk to somebody. No shame in asking for help ever. If you take anything from this whip and chat, yeah, just ask for help. If something's troubling you, yeah, talk to somebody or find a way to communicate something you're uncomfortable with to somebody. Alright, how much to that one for one, but...
Okay. Uh, right. Okay, uh, 300. All right, back to brown. <laughs> yeah, I have my tray back here. Yeah, hopefully this wasn't too much of a downer of a weapon chat, but yeah, that I kind of commented on, yeah, in YouTube music there. Somebody posted, put some clothes on or whatever <laughs> in that post. And was, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I agreed. Yeah, you can comment in YouTube music. If a track is playing, it like just at the end of it, it like stops until you're done posting a comment, and then your playlist continues. Well, I've commented on a couple, but yeah, that that just really stuck out to me that comment. Pretty commonplace where you just see somebody with their shirt off or their clothes off. Like a music video or whatever. It just seems more common these days. Or stuff's really sexualized. That's that's definitely yeah. It's definitely a thing. You can have their clothes on, but it's like really suggestive just constant in your face that kind of media it's just uh, <laughs> Let's see. okay yeah people are attractive okay but this is ridiculous it's just everywhere <laughs> So, uh, mom turns on the fireplace channel a lot for on Bell Express View and just reads a book or something. The news gets too crazy or just something absurd is on. So. Yeah, it's nice to just sit there for a few minutes with the fireplace channel on in the living room. I seldomly touch the TV remote. Like, I just watch whatever's on TV. I'm only in there for I giggle. Just watch a few minutes of TV. And then if it's too down on the dumps for me, I just leave the room. I usually go on the exercise bike and turn on music. Listen away, so. Yeah, I have limits for that kind of stuff too, so. Yeah, just don't ever feel trapped within yourself if something is bothering you. Definitely uh, speak up. No shame in asking for help. Alright, so we have a couple of these left hand arrows. Uh, this is part of the draglings back here. Couple yellow arrows here. Okay. Yeah, there's a moon in like the center of the tenth row, the center third. And yeah, this yellow is up on the moon, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a couple here along the archway. bit of a hardcore whip and chat kind of a real life topic there I usually keep it pretty chill on here so yeah I'm sorry if this is out of the blue <laughs> do that sometimes but anyway you've been watching echoes of color with jeffrey morrison 
down below in the description I put the main website links for Conquer and Pacer, just two fitness incentive kind of apps, just for me to stay physically active every day, just on the exercise bike or just walking in general, etc., etc. Yep. So, yeah, I'm not affiliated or partnered with Conquer or Pacer, but yeah, just the main website links are there if you're curious. Any updates regarding Aquas of Color or section completions, new canvas, start photos, etc., I'll just post here on YouTube. So feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, don't say that too often. Yeah, hit the notification bell to be notified when the new video new whip and chat shows up it's every now and then but yeah hopefully I conveyed some sort of uh, message or guidance for anybody struggling out there with body image issues or just something that's on their mind yeah, I do have concern for that, uh, those problems, because they're pretty prominent, and yeah, it's sometimes a set of problems that's really hard to convey or express to somebody else because of embarrassment or shame, but no, it, it may be frightening to convey or express something like that, but it'll make you feel better in the end once you have explained how you feel to somebody that you love or trust. And you can help yourself feel better and others around you to help you feel better about yourself. Yeah, I worded that funny, but yeah. Anyway, take care. All the best with your crafting endeavors slash hobbies, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.